Now hi there Planet Poke, we are back once again and I totally forgot what I was supposed to talk about but uh, Gym Battle, here we go. Price, Pokemon have many experiences in their lives just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been training Pokemon since before you were born, I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power, said the child molester to the victim. Actually, they made him a little cooler looking in this generation, but I remember in uh, second gen, he didn't have the scarf or the jacket. He just wore a shirt and like shorts. I'm like, what the fuck? You're the winter trainer. How the hell do you get away with this? I'm not saying just for aesthetic effect, like, you know, cosmetic looks or whatever. I'm saying it's fucking winter. Everything in this town is cold. You're wearing shorts. Explain yourself. To that extent, you could probably ask the main trainer in uh, gold, silver, and crystal, but uh, he travels the entire damn world of Pokemon at the time, so it doesn't really matter because he's only in this place for a little bit. You, on the other hand, are in a frozen place for all eternity. God damn it, what, I, what did I want to talk about? Oh, yeah, New Year's. Oh, yeah. New Year's resolutions. So, since you guys are probably watching this in 2014, recorded in 2013. Um, I can't think of things to talk about. No, actually, uh, New Year's resolutions is just where I was at. Uh, uh, any mini money will pick a tech. Fire attack. Yeah, New Year's resolutions. What are yours? Mine are double my subscriber count, a bunch of educational stuff, some job stuff, uh, some driving stuff. Uh, what else is on there? Oh, yeah, fitness. Cause like I used to be really fit, and now I'm just like scrawny again. Cause like it's like I don't know what do you say like call, do you call it letting yourself go? Cause that's usually when I imagine like the dude's on the couch drinking like eight gallons of beer and he's all fat and she's like oh get my twinkie. But like in this situation, I uh, I'm just like it's like you power down from being Super Saiyan 3 and your muscles all shrink. That's the thing. Why are you going for an ice diamond attack? I literally. I wasn't paying I was looking away, I was laughing, I was like, I'm gonna be stupid for this battle <laughs> and see what they do. And you know what they do, they do the stupid thing that is stupid. Don't do that. Go for a water type attack once in a while. I mean, it is your secondary type. Oh my god, why am I not doing damage? You're gonna go for rest this turn and goddamn you. Called it! I fucking called it! So yeah, you guys really should have a New Year's resolution. I'm not trying to make my way of living your way of living. I'm just saying it's helpful. It, it helps me. Draw ball kick power, you double rainbow. Oh my god, somebody hacked the game. So when you do double kick, it shows a little rainbow above it. And then when you do another one, it's another rainbow. And thus double rainbow status effect. Why am I wearing pants? I mean, pants are awesome. It's just usually... It's like 7 in the morning, I could just be chilling playing video games with my undies, I mean... What self-respecting 20 year old dude doesn't do that, I mean... Yeah, okay, it's cold as hell, so, you know. The weather is rather fitting, kinda weird. And that, my friends, was literally the easiest gym battle ever! I mean, maybe not ever, but... That was a 4 minute battle, almost. I'm impressed by your prowess. I'm a smurf now. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all of life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. Ray received the Glacial Badge from Price. I, I, what's a nickname for him besides the smurf? Because he's short and wears blue, but... Uh, what TM is that anyways? I don't, I don't remember anything of 4th Gen now. I'm just... Sixth generation is awesome. What the fuck came before six? Obviously fifth, but I I don't I legitimately don't consider it relevant that much. I mean, modern gen is more important than previous gen in my head somewhat. Oh, it's Professor Adam and he's calling me. Hey, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening at the radio broadcast. They were talking about Team Rocket. Ray, do you know anything about it? I'm a little bitch and I can't do anything myself. So I'm like calling you. Can you can you do something? I have to go to my annual bitch meeting. Alright, being an ass and just profane douche aside. 
Uh, yeah, after you get your final, uh, seventh badge, you get to go rescue the world from Team Rocket 2. And if you're playing Storm Silver and, uh, Sacred Gold, let me just, uh, slow clap, buddy, because if you go to the tower in those games, oh, good luck. No, seriously, you are effed. There's so many freaking things to do, and it's just not. Oh, uh, you need a Garchomp. Garchomp is the solution to all your problems. At least, God damn it! How did I not battle you? Oh yeah, I skipped trainers, didn't I? Huh? Why would I skip trainers? The whole point of a Nuzlocke is to be so overleveled that you don't lose. Why did you get a beard? Oh my gosh! In the newer games, I can why this guy don't got beard. What do beard? Where? How? Anyways, back on topic. You have to head on over to the radio tower, do a bunch of little side quests, mini game things, dungeons and stuff. Not. Not anything Zelda worthy, but uh, it, it's stuff, I guess. And wait, did we have fly yet? Can I fly? If we have fly, I'll just get like a random shit. I don't have random shit. I mean, Pidgey. Damn it. I was thinking we could maybe go flying, but apparently we can't do that. Because I can't fly. <laughs> Again, egg lock, nuzlocke. I can only use egg Pokemon. I'm not evolving yet. F40 level. Level 40. Hey, evolution. Do your thing! What do you mean I'm not evolving yet? You fucking asshole! Uh, I want to evolve, oh my god, Doug Trio level 17, that's not possible! That's not possible! Oh gosh, with the Hyax and the whatnot. And fun fact, you can run into Hydragons at level before. Uh, oh sweet, I am evolving! I'm a genius! Look at me, Mo! Get the camera! I'm evolving! <laughs> Get the camera! I'm evolving! Anyways, um. In uh, Victory Road in X and Y, you can run into a Hydreigon, it will swoop down, it's like a random encounter, you know those Pokemon that just encounter with you, like you're not in the grass, there's just a spot, you walk on it, and it swoops down, um, it can be a Hydreigon, and it can be at level, uh, I think it's 59, so definitely before 64, which is what it's evolved thing is supposed to be, also, why the hell would I want to learn Fury Attack, no, no, good, okay, thank god. Fury I got takedown. I got takedown for days. Oh, look, water. I believe it's time to surf in the water. I've got a fiery unicorn at my side. Yes, that's what people tend to forget. It's not a horse. It's a unicorn. Hey, sweet coon. Bye, sweet coon. Unicorn man away. Wait a minute. Can anybody else evolve, like, now? No? Okay. I, okay, I see how it is. You guys... You, you guys are assholes. Alright, save here, save there, and there we go. Now we go. Kawaii Batman away! I'm gonna stop being steroid. Mean. Alfred, get my jacket. I don't know why Batman would be on steroid. I mean. For the action figures of every freaking superhero, or just anything, Power Rangers too, they always look like the characters on steroids. They have abs and every- Why am I looking at my Pokedex? I had a Cyndaquil? Huh. Who would've thunk it? I just gotta see where the hell I'm going. I honestly- Let's see, Light- No. A Goldenrod, let's see, down, and down, okay. Alright. How did- and I thought I killed Entei. Or Raikou. Or one of the two. Whatever. Can I ride my pony horse? I uh, mean unicorn. Mafani is poking at Ray's be- No. Poke all you want. You're a unicorn. You poke me all you want. You're a unicorn. Best you'll do is stab- Oh, wait. Stop poking me. Yeah, you learnt your lesson. Alright, let's see here. Who needs experience? What item are you holding? Ooh. Uh, next game is gonna be Dragony, so I might want to level up Charl or Surf. Why, why can't you learn Surf? What? Level zero? That's a thing? That's weird. Wait. Experience. Who's got the least experience? Like, alright. You, I don't know why I keep you around, dick, but I guess you're my special wall, which would be kind of weird. Do I have the experience here? No, I don't. Jesus. Alright, well. Uh, these two are friggin' trained for days. I mean, especially Ofani. Trained for days. Uh, Surf and Charl. Ooh, 
Oh, Charles, you're gonna like wreck stuff. Oh my god, you're gonna wreck stuff too. Alright, so I guess I'll trade. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, pick a tiger by the toe. If he holds on, go. I can't def freaking remember the rest of this. They're both so awesome. Look at their abilities. I'm gonna go with um, Surf for a little bit, because he has Outrage, and Outrage looks amazing. Oh my god, you, oh god, fuck, I wanted to just talk to him. Who dares interrupt my, oh hey, it's a Pidgey. I could probably catch that bastard for flying abilities, but nah, I don't know. Uh, hey, Steam Summer Sales should be over by the time you guys are seeing this, but in which case, if I did buy anything, I was probably stupid. What I usually do is just add stuff to my wish list, and then I buy it when I can, if I want to. I mean, the only thing I've gotten from Steam in a while is Rogue Legacy. I, I got Left 4 Dead 2, but that was free, so that doesn't count. But yeah. Outrage! Look awesome! And let's talk to my Pokemon! Surf wants to play with Ray. Well, that's great. You know, I'm almost sorry about naming you Surf, because I. You can't really. I'm sorry I named you to be a thing, to be a tool, to be used, but at least now. Your enemies know what to do against you, which is a terrible thing now that I think about it, and teaching you payback on a dragon dancing set, which is kind of stupid as well, is also a terrible thing, but you gotta look at the positive things. Y you're adamant. That's good. Seriously though, positivity is like the key to success, and people need to be more positive. I mean, think of any situation. There's always gonna be a positive. Whether it's the fact that you're still alive, which in some cases you think is a negative, but it's not. Just be positive. Let's say, for example, your parental units are really stupid, like, incredibly. Well, you could be negative and just let that go on, or you could be positive, proactive, and try and stop that from occurring. Uh, let's say you can't play Pokemon games because your computer's really slow. If it's that slow, you could probably play outside. I don't want to play outside. Well, fuck you, Billy. I'm giving you suggestions here. What are you doing? You just backsass me, you stupid kid. Where the hell am I going? Also, your name's not Billy. Really? I need cut. I don't think I have that. Am I? I'm not sure. I'll go check that now. Oh, wait, crap. Wait. Nah, forget about it. So basically, there's always a positive in every situation. Even if you... Yeah, there's always a positive. Like, there's always one thing you're going to look forward to. to always. It's going to be a, one thing. It's not always the same. Alright, can I cut this? I, okay, do I... I really hope somebody can learn cut. And I hope it's somebody who's not one of my dragons. Dancers. You get what I mean. Uh, Dick, learn cut. Fuck. Nat, no, Natalie can't, no, well, wait a minute, maybe Charles can, well, Natalie, what attacks do you know right now, like, if you know something really stupid, I can easily replace it for cut, not stupid, not stupid, not, stu you already have two HM moves and you're mixed attack and awesome badass mode of effort, okay, yeah, how about we teach it to Charles? Cause Swords Dance, Dragon Claw are cool. The other attacks, I don't think we need those. I mean, Zen Headbutt's nice, but take down. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, Protect. Well, goodbye, Protect. We were gonna forget you anyways. He can have Fly and uh, Cut. I guess that works. I mean, he's got Swords Dance for Pete's sake. He'll cut through stuff. And Steel, while it does resist the uh, Dragony Dancing, I've got a Fire type. And a fighting type. Well, fire type with a fighting type attack and a poison type with a fighting type attack. But you get my point. Now, the town should be... Gosh, dang it. Wild and cow crap. We're nearly out of time. Oh. Isn't that wonderful? All we managed to accomplish in this episode... Oh, wait. We beat the gym leader, didn't we? Well, that's a lot, actually. Ha! Huh. All right. We're gonna go to the radio town. Oh, god damn Stop it, you wild mutt. Wow. Is it like the same freaking drowsy? Huh. Man, Drowsy sucks, because it reminds me of my long-lost Pokemon, ha her scene, which was... Basically, I was doing a Nuzlocke on my channel. Did not end well, because I chose a really hard game to Nuzlocke. It, 
probably the worst idea ever. Well, it's gonna be probably my first newest look ever. I better do a really f***ing hard game, because that's not gonna bite me in the ass anytime soon. <laughs> and then it bit me in the ass multiple times, probably leaving a puncture wound or something along those lines. And we need something to repel away all these wild Pokemans, at least for a little bit. Super Repel, best item not ever, but still pretty good item. Uh, again, I think there's... Oh, wait, crap, go this way. I don't want to go that wide a minute, do I? Oh, oh, crap. I keep thinking that... I, I don't know what trainers I've already been and which trainers I haven't, but... Yeah, that blows. All right, let's see. I'll just go to the Pokemon Center. Okay, thank God the Pokemon Center's not blocked off. That'd be really messed up. But anyways, yes, New Year's resolutions, everybody should have a few, at least one, you know, one thing that no matter what happens, you gotta do, you, you gotta, you gotta do it, you, you, you good you gotta do it, yeah, but, ow, fuck, I actually hit my head on the wall that time, alright, ow, that sucks, I mean, I've got a really thick skull, so, let's not test that, let's not, oh, hey, my mom's calling, hi, mom, hello, Oh, hi, hi, It's just my money. I'm actually not going to be able to get that for quite a while because uh, I, can't, I think Team Rocket's blocking off everything, so that sucks for me. Anyways, uh, that about wraps up for today. Remember to leave a like, subscribe to this channel, Planet Poke. Subscribe to Rayquaza 93 Week because that's who I am. Uh, I don't know, follow me on Twitter, follow Poke, Planet Poke on Twitter. Uh, the, 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 the New Year's resolutions. Probably want to set some. I won at least. You know you're gonna drink orange juice. Okay, not something as stupid as that, but like me, mine is a bunch of stuff actually. Uh, set one. It has to be one realistic and two not easy. So, uh, you're gonna uh. Wear pink for at least 30 days, not consecutively. So you can wear pink at any time throughout the year, but it has to be a minimum at the end of the year, 30 days of pink. But it, you probably want to be something that benefits you and not just makes you wear pink. I, I don't I don't see the benefit of wearing pink, actually. Yeah, that's coming from a guy who doesn't see the benefit of wearing clothes 9 out of 10 times. 10 times with other other one would be when you're outside. But if you're at home, who gives a shit? But then again, never mind. That about wraps up for today. Bye! Oh, hi there, Team Olson. Welcome back to another thrilling episode of I'm not going to go battle the gym leader right now because I actually want to go see what the hell is up with an entire village hosted, I mean, like, composed of Pokemon. Friggin' that don't make no sense. I swear to God, if that guy's blocking my path, I will take a screwdriver.